Alright, so this might be an unpopular opinion. <laughs> Throwback to when I actually had a series called that, but this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't want to sign any wide receivers in free agency. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this to address all the wide receiver rumors out there. Both of the Marcus uh, Robinson, you know, the possibility of signing him, which, you know, there was reports coming out about that since last week. And the more recent Stefan Diggs rumor, how depending how you consider it, technically the Diggs rumor could be older because we were linked to Stefan Diggs way back like in the beginning of the season, like around week four, week five, right where we're going to play him. There was rumors and ideas being floated around out there that Diggs wanted to come to New York or there's a possibility of Diggs coming to New York, except back then it was the Shermer connection. Now it's just that he might be released from the Vikings or the Vikings are looking to trade him. Like I even saw a report just a couple of minutes ago saying that the Vikings are not looking to, to trade Diggs, which I'm going to get into later in the video and whatnot. But this right here, now this is my opinion. This is my personal opinion. You can disagree with it if you want. Just do it respectably, you know, in the comments below. Uh, I don't think we should sign any wide receivers this offseason. In fact, I don't think, you know, oh man. I think we should just go into the regular season with our current wide receiver core. I think we're good enough at wide receiver for now, for this upcoming year, and, you know, for the foreseeable future until maybe sometime during the season, wherein if the Giants do what they say they're going to do, they're actually going to have some cap left to sign a receiver before the trade deadline and whatnot. We would be able to do that. But as of right now, I don't want to sign one. If we're going to tackle the receiver problem for some reason, which I it, it is, it's not really a problem. It's just kind of like an annoyance right now. It's not nowhere near our biggest need and whatnot. If we were to tackle that, I'd rather do it do it in the draft again, you know, in the, in the later rounds, fifth or sixth round, whatever, just like we did with Darius Slayton rather than go, going out there and signing somebody. So why do, don't I want to sign anybody? Well, it's quite simple, really. Uh, I believe we're good right now. And I say that, part of me says that because we haven't even seen this wide receiver core at its full strength. Uh, a lot of people forget, and I put this in my, even I kind of forgot in my recap video, but I did put it in, in you know, in little text, uh, in a little text that popped up. For like the, four, the first like four weeks, we didn't even have our wide receiver core at its full strength. Whether it was because of the Golden Tate suspension uh, or, you know, injuries to guys like Shepard, guys like Latimer. Um, at one point, we had our starting wide receivers being a third string guy in TJ Jones, guys that re regularly play on the practice squad and on special teams. And like, you know, don't they don't belong on the starting bench of a team that's who we were running it running with for the force for the first four games of the regular season and even past those first four games injuries still plagued the wide receiver core like i mean this is kind of like something that's been happening with the giants and their wide receivers now since the 2017 season and yes i can definitely understand and it's definitely a legitimate argument if somebody were to bring up to me well that right there is exactly the reason why we should sign somebody we should let go of some of these injury prone guys and replace them with people that are a little bit more durable and I, I would, yeah, that's a valid argument to say, but I, another thing I guess I would have to argue is one of the main people, you know, one of the main players people are talking about letting go, whether it's via trade or whether it's a cut, is Golden Tate. And my argument to that is we haven't even seen him in a full year, you know, on the Giants right now. And last year he was learning, learning a completely new system, kind of got interrupted where he got suspended from all NFL action that includes practices and whatnot for four weeks so he was out for four weeks and you do get rusty really quickly in the nfl and he came back and he wasn't his best he still had a good um season by all accounts i mean he was playing with a rookie quarterback in daniel jones who was behind a bad offensive line he still good, did good to me you know dj did uh favor darius slayton a lot which you can't exactly blame him for he's playing with who he was comfortable with he's still learning so i don't feel like it's fair to judge golden tate off of the season that he had last year uh now it is his fault that he got suspended, you know, no arguing in that, but I don't feel it's fair to judge him off of that. Uh, Sterling Shepard, who I'm honestly, I'm kind of 50-50 on whether or not we let him go in any way, shape or form. I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm for it or if I'm against it. Personally, I don't know why he hasn't retired yet. Those two concussions in like, what was it, like two weeks or something like that. So that's something very scary. Maybe he believes that he's healthier now. He'll be able to handle himself. And went on the field healthy, every Giants fan noticed, 
Sterling Shepard is one of the best route runners in the NFL, one of the most underrated route runners in the NFL. In my personal opinion, he's a top 10 wide receiver and he's just not recognized as that. And uh, he had a lot of injuries that plagued him last year as well. Uh, Shepard is not exactly an injury prone wide receiver on the Giants. As far as I can recall, it was only the 2017 season and last year with the concussions that he was really out. Uh, when he's healthy, he could be good on the field. And you know, he also has you know, a good $40 million to his name. Maybe if we let him go, we will take a cap hit. We get some of that money back. We could sign somebody, but I feel like you can't take the last season from our top two wide receivers and really completely blame it on them. And also an argument that could be made for them, another one, and this could certainly be made for practically anybody on the roster is that it's a, you know, it is a whole new coaching staff. We want to see how they do under the new coaches. We want to see how they do under the new trainers under the new, you know, health officials, under the new schemes, which, you know, it's going to be a very, you know, mixed match scheme is going to be extremely versatile. We don't know how they're going to work. And one of the more versatile players on our team that a lot of people aren't aware of is in fact Golden Tate. You know what I mean? He is somebody that really does well in the slot and outside of the slot. Shepard is not that versatile. Uh, I don't, I don't really buy into that. People do try and claim to say that he is. No, he's in my opinion, he is a pure slot wide receiver. He does try to go on the outside every now and then, but he does his best work in the slot. And Golden Tate also does his best work in the slot, but he's very good outside of it when he's lined up on the outside. So we haven't even seen them play in this new scheme yet. Like I said, you could make that argument for anybody on the team, but I want them to stay on. I mean, we have them on $40 million contracts for a while, at least for Golden State. Let him play out this other year. Let him play a full year. It is going to be something new. Yes, I know, but the dude is on a relatively big contract. At least use it. Don't look like a fool. And, you know, I'm speaking to the front office now and Dave Gellman and release him one year after his contract, after a year where, like I said, you can't blame him for having the performance that he did. That performance being uh, 49 receptions for 676 yards, averaging 13.8 yards per reception. I think that's that's around the highest uh, yards per reception of his career. I think it's like his third highest or something. Yeah, 676 yards is, is you know, it's not pretty when you look at it. But once, once again, I say consider all the factors, man. Consider all the factors, the suspension, playing with a rookie QB, uh, you know, one that does favor, um, you know, his rookie wide receiver as a target. Uh, you know, Golden Tate, like even throughout the year, and I've said this in a couple of my reaction vids, it doesn't seem like they were using him in the offense that well either way. And same goes for Shepard, you know. As for Demarcus Robinson, uh, let me talk about him real quick just to, I guess, address the, you know, the possibility of us signing him. Okay, so after, you know, looking, you know, going back while editing the video and whatnot, I've kind of become more inclined and more open to signing somebody like Robinson, you know, somebody of his stature, you know, the level of receiver that he is, all the money he would demand, or I guess the less amount of money he would demand and his versatility. I'm definitely more open to signing guys like Robinson now. If we were to go and sign somebody, uh, let it be. Let it be at the market with Robinson. I'm definitely more open to that right now. Just wanted to add that in there and now back to the video. Uh, he sets a hit free agency the first time after setting career highs with 32 catches for 449 yards and four touchdowns last season. Of course, he was part of the Super Bowl champion team in the Kansas City Chiefs with possibly the best uh, quarterback in the league in Patrick Mahomes. He was averaging 14 yards per reception. Uh, you know, pretty good stats for somebody playing with the Chiefs where you don't exactly have much exposure as they have kind of a deep wide receiver core out there and they focus a lot on speed which Robinson does in fact lack. Now I am gonna put out there, I obviously I don't watch Chiefs football, I'm a Giants fan. So I am going off of the multiple articles that I'm reading and the type of receiver he seems to be, everybody claims to say that he is, you know, one of the more versatile wide receivers in the sense that he plays both inside and outside the slot and he doesn't have that speed, but his versatility makes up for it and he is relatively young. With that being said, and you know, given that I don't expect him to be an expensive contract or anything, I don't see a reason for us to sign him, you know what I mean? Like, even though he might be a cheap contract, I really don't see a reason for us to sign him. There was one article that claimed he could be a, a leader on the Giants team as a veteran. This guy is still 25 years old. You're not a veteran yet. I don't know what the article is talking about. And even then, he wasn't really ever in a position where he was, you know, kind of sh forced to show his leadership, his leadership skills. So I don't know what they're talking about. That's I do not believe that at all, that he could be a leader in the locker room. Maybe he can't, but at least so far in the NFL, nothing nothing suggests that he can't. And I don't see a reason to sign him because of his vers versatility skills, because we have somebody like that in Tate. Uh, we have somebody like that in Cody Latimer. 
Uh, there's the forgotten Corey Coleman, although he is more of an outside threat, but we do have guys on the wide receiver core right now that could play inside and outside. If we were to sign him, would I be mad? No, because like I said, it's going to be a cheap contract. This guy's not going to demand a lot of money, and he is young. And going over to the Stefan Diggs uh, rumors that came out more recently because, you know, he, he like deleted all the photos of the Vikings and any Viking related, you know, football stuff on his Instagram and all that. Listen, Diggs has been throwing basically like a hissy fit since uh, beginning of the regular season, like I said at the beginning of the video. He looks like he's wanting off the Vikings for a while now, whether it's he wants more snaps or he wants more plays, he's not happy sharing the ball with Adam Thielen, which is kind of weird because they had a good two years there in 2017 and 2018 from since Thielen broke out and nothing really ever came of it, nothing negative came of it. But now all of a sudden he uh, he's having problems with the way the uh, offensive plays are being called and you know he has problems with Kirk Cousins and whatnot and Cousins has one more year left on his contract with the Vikings so there is a big chance that you know they just bear with it and keep on digs for that one last year see what happens but there's also a chance they let him go because he is while he's not doing anything like um I guess diva ish you know in the diva wide receiver world right now this is very tame compared to a lot of stuff we've seen I you know I guess it can be annoying to a team it, it really can and they they can get fed up with him but uh, they, you know, there's definitely a possibility of them releasing him or trading him. But I also see the possibility of them just keeping him for that one more year with Kirk Cousins to see how things work out. Like I said, there was even an article released where uh, this guy Spielman, uh, th that's actually the GM of the Vikings, said a very Dave Gettleman-esque line in, we have no intent to train, trade Stefan Diggs, which could go either way. To be honest with you, he could really be pulling a Dave Gettleman and then immediately trade digs or he could mean it who knows i don't know spielman like that but as for the giants and the link to the giants uh, i don't particularly want stefan digs um and no it's not because of the uh because he might be a diva ish wide receiver to me he's pretty tame compared to everybody else he's definitely tame compared to odell beckham and that could be a turnoff you know even something as small as what digs is doing the uh, giants front office and the new coaching staff might look at it and say no that's not for us but the main reason I don't want him on here is because when we trade for him, we're going to have to release either uh, Sterling Shepard or Golden Tate. And I already made my arguments as to why I want to see them for at least one more year on this Giants team with, you know, the new everything. So I don't want to see them gone. And Diggs is on a cost effective contract. So maybe we could just release a bunch of our backup receivers and, you know, release some, you know, backup players elsewhere to make space for him. And then we'll have a nice trio at the receiving position and whatnot but I, I don't know like uh digs it's it, it also comes back to i don't see the need for another wide receiver right now right i don't see the need for it like it's definitely not a perfect core that we have there you know it's far from perfect but at the same time it's good enough it's more than good enough if we could roll into the season you know running with golden tate with sterling shepherd with darius slayton with cody latimer with corey coleman with tj jones with um that guy out of monmouth whose name i'm forgetting but could possibly be somebody that makes the squad this time you know i think we'll be fine it's a good core it's a good core uh but we don't exactly need a big name like stefan diggs and yeah i think he is big in my opinion he is like a fringe top 10 wide receiver maybe top 15 in the league but there's nothing here that tells me he would come to the giants or a reason for him you know for us to need him uh, if I were to compare him to anybody on the squad, it would probably be a Darius Slayton type receiver. He's kind of that big play wide receiver. Uh, and really the only person we have on there right now would be Slayton and maybe Coleman uh, on, the, on the core, on the wide receiver core that matches that type of description. But I don't know. Once again, if we were going to tackle anything with the wide receiver position, I would do it in the draft. That's just my opinion. I really think we're good at wide receiver for now. And I'm going to stress for now because I don't know what's going to happen during the season, and we're supposed to have cap to address it if anything does. But that's what I got for you all today. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with my opinion or not? Um, if you do, let me know down below why. If you don't, let me know down below why. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Love chatting with you all. That's what I got for you all today. I'm out. You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching, put your comments down below, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out.
Here.